So we're a dashboard manufacturer. So our, our primary manufacturing is uh, dashboard systems that are used in hockey arenas, uh, sporting facilities, basically the dash, the aluminum frame of dashboard and then the protection above it. So at the NHL level, you would see stuff like the acrylic shielding, tempered glass. So all of our standard costing is, is inputted into Epicor and that relates out and ties back to DMTs back to all of our, of our, of our costing estimate templates. So as we update and cost change and structures and price increases and commodity changes, all that gets updated in Epicor and relates back to our templates for costing. So we're accurate and timely with our customers. We are using Epicor here. All the departments are using it to some extent. In engineering in, partic in, engineering in particular, we are using a couple modules. Uh, we are using the part tracker, we are using the project tracker, the order tracker, and also the time uh, uh, portion of it. Uh, we do uh, record the time that we spend for each project in order to have an accurate view on uh, each project cost. And that helps, I think, sales for future use when they code projects. Uh, I do al we do also use uh, the other modules that help us to identify what needs to be done for each project that we are working on. Uh, I'm responsible for uh, bringing in all of our raw materials needed to build our hockey boards and things like that. Um, screws, aluminum, everything in this building I'm responsible for. So, you know, having the visibility for something as small as a screw really helps me figure out what we need, when we need it, and most importantly, why we need it. So Epicor, um, I can see, you know, as far back as the day we started using the system, uh, how many sheets of plastic I've bought, how many screws I've bought, the cost that we paid for, and, you know, being able to use that da data to our advantage, to go to our vendors and approach them, you know, with strategic buys, you know, lead time, or, um, you know, bulk buys and things like that, it's, it's really helped in that regard with Epicor. So as operations manager that encompasses the supply chain purchasing end of the business, the shipping receiving end of the business, so all the logistics, but most importantly it's the manufacturing side of the business. So that is everything from production planning, uh, which is labor planning and getting your materials here on time. Uh, we do use a lot of the Epicor tools, very powerful in terms of forecasting and looking forward. Uh, several months into our production plan to know when we need to get material here, uh, to know when we need to hire additional labor here uh, to address any peaks in production. You know, we've got four different companies set up in Epicor, so I can easily go back and forth between companies. I can look at each company's individual account receivable listings and AP listings and stock status reports and uh, work in process reports. So when a job gets created, all the materials associated with that job all get allocated into the job. And in addition, all of the guys on the production floor are inputting their hours into the system. It's very easy. They go in, you know, they're working on this project for the next four hours. They input that. I can tell, you know, up to the minute how many hours or minutes a person has spent on a specific project. So at the end of the project, we're able to add up all those costs, all of that labor, and get our true cost of that product to determine, hey, are we making money on that product? Did we make as much as we thought we would? So through the selection and implementation of an ERP system, it was important for us to find a partner that truly understood what we were trying to do. And so the, the team at 6S invested a lot of time at the beginning to really take a deep dive and look for areas where they could help us become the business we always knew we were. And so with John and his team, we also were able to then draw upon their expertise when we had each of our acquisitions and the, and the kind of mini implementations in each of those businesses. And through those processes, we've taken legacy data We've worked with their consulting teams. We've brought those into our system so that now everybody is working from the same unified, one version of the truth. Here's the data. Everybody's able to look at it, rely upon it. And, and really, it just it drives that customer experience that is consistent at a high level, a 
across all of our businesses.